Hello everyone, I'm Jay and welcome to my channel AskJay.com. Today we are going to talk CISSP endorsement process. IC Square CISSP certification, right? <laughs> Congratulations on passing the exam and if you're planning to take the exam, be prepared, embrace yourself. This is going to be a brutal, brutal, brutal exam, right? Um, but anyway, today let's look at the endorsement process. I have completed my exam. Uh, you can see my certificate over there. Um, and back in October 2010, sorry, 2020, that was my second time, uh, second attempt. Um, I, I tried in May 2019. I didn't pass. 18 months later, I tried it again. I passed this time. Right, what happens after you're passing the exam, right? With CISSP, once you pass, you never know what you scored. You just know you passed. That's it. The, the adoptive exam, especially. If you failed, you will know uh, which uh, domain you failed and how did you score like they only tell you near proficiency above proficiency and uh, below proficiency uh, for each domain right so but once you pass what happens you will need to be endorsed by somebody who already holds a CISSP certification um, because you need to prove your experience you have to have um, several years experience in uh, some of the domains right um, I think at least three domains, if I'm right. <laughs> so um, you need to find somebody who can endorse you, get their membership ID, it's IC Square membership ID, and go uh, apply for the endorsement on the IC Square website. And what happens once you apply and they put the number uh, their their um, membership ID and their full name, they will receive a notification because after I got endorsed, I have endorsed somebody else, so I kind of know the process. Uh, they will receive the notification saying you you have an endorsement uh, application for you. So log in here to complete the process. And they will have to log in and go through, um, they, they would have to say they have verified your experience and uh, how long they've known you, any other comments they, uh, they would like to make, and the domains and whatnot, right? So once they endorse you, go through the application, endorse you, and hit submit, then you will probably find out um, a couple of weeks later, you will get an email from IC Square. Hey, congratulations on achieving your CISSP certification. <laughs> um, and a week later, they will send you a, a digital badge as well. Um, the digital badge, again, I think you can, if you log into your IC Square profile, you can. Uh, download your digital certificate anyway and for me it was like exactly after two months i think uh, i did the exam on 23rd of october i think i got the physical certificate on 22nd or 23rd of january so two or three months um exactly and you will receive a physical certificate and trust me <laughs> This is an experience opening that certificate. Oh man, <laughs> you will you will be you will be really pleased about all the hard work you have done, and you look at this certificate with the gold letters and oh brilliant! That's it's experience. It's worth, right? So that's what happens. You pass the exam, you get somebody to endorse you, and then you just wait. You get your digital certificate faster but the physical certificate takes time. I forgot to mention, once the endorsement process is finished, you will receive a notification and then you will need to go and pay for the IC Square membership to complete the application process. And then you will um, receive your you know, digital certificate, e notification about endorsement process being complete and the digital certificate and a link to your acclaim uh, dot com where you can list all your certificates over there so I forgot to mention you would you do have to pay membership fee I have done an unboxing video of the certificate as well please go watch it and I have done videos about my journey what the resources I used I, how I passed the exam and also I have done uh, uh, what do I feel about the practical questions practice questions I have done about uh, from different places so please do go and watch those uh, if you are preparing for the exam. Uh, I wish you all the best. As I said, <laughs> this is going to be a brutal exam. Be prepared. And um, if you know the concepts, you, if you're thinking like a manager, you will do just fine, right? All the best. 
Do like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, you have a good one. Cheers. Bye-bye.